Rob, it's again, he's nine years old, so um, you don't want to get too technical with him. Um, you actually just want him to develop and, and, and develop as naturally as what he can. With the front arm, obviously, it's really important what the front arm does because that's that's your that's your beginning point of your action. So um, there's a couple of things that you can do. Um, you can get really creative with it, but try and keep it as simple as possible. Um, I've done it with a child before where I've hung a I've hung a string with a ball in front of him. Okay, and you get him just to stand and you get that front arm. You want the front arm up, you can actually hang two balls. Okay, and this is being really technical. So I'm going to give you this one and then I'll give you a, a, a more simpler drill beforehand. So get him to stand and get him to lift his arm up as high as he can. Okay, and then try and have a ball. And if you can't hang something above it, get him to lift his hand up and you put a ball or put your hand there and he's got to stand, okay, and try and hit your hand. And it's just repetition, repetition, excuse me. Um, but like Karate Kid, jacket on, jacket off. Um, get him to stand and get him to hit your hand so that he's actually getting that hand up as high as he can to start with. Okay, obviously that's not necessarily the, the problem that you're finding. You're saying he's falling away with that front arm, but it's important that he's beginning in the correct place. So it's it's the starting point. Get him to get up as high as he can. I don't know if he's a front on bowler. So you, if he's a front on, he's obviously going to be looking on the inside of his arm. If he is, it's important that his arm's not starting out there. It still needs to be as close to his head as possible. Okay, so that everything's working together and he's and 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 you're keeping that alignment no. nice and straight. No, that's, that's right. sorry. I'm just going to put you into the solo layout, so it's just you on the screen, so that we can just see what you're doing a little bit better. Um, okay, cool. Okay. Go for it. Here we go. Do you want me to run through that again? Yeah, just just the side on part. Okay, so so obviously, if you're a front on bowler, you're 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 going to be looking on the inside of your arm. Okay, but you just want to make sure that your arm's not away from your body. You still want it nice and close because then it helps you keep your alignment. Um, nice and straight okay the minute you start doing that everything starts to move out of line so again i'm not sure if he's a front on bowler or if he's a side on bowler if he's a front on keep that arm up and but it's your starting point and you want to get that up as high as you can okay if he's a side on bowler obviously then you're looking over your over your shoulder or a lot of bowlers you'll see they're looking they can look from just behind okay but the important thing is to get that arm up because it gets your body up into the action okay so Hand above them and get them to lift that arm up straight. Don't be lazy. And if he's a side on bow, like, let him do that. He must get into the correct standing or correct action, correct position, and get that arm up and hit your hand, okay? Then the next point is to put something out in front. You're obviously going to have to have a couple of cones to get that alignment nice and straight, okay? And then get him to from that top point. So he goes up, he hits that point, and then he's got to throw his arm straight at the object in front so that he's not falling away because I'm, I'm i'm from the question i'm guessing he's he's doing that and it's pulling him out which will either then get him to drag it you know this way and then he'll overcompensate and he'll end up falling away because his arm's going there and then he'll push it down the leg side uh, to a right hand better so so it's a simple build but just do it do it at a standing thing and again jacket on jacket off up straight down back into position up straight down back into position he's young so that will get boring quite quickly you don't want to you don't want him to get bored so maybe do six balls like that okay and then let him just run in and bowl and just see what happens then go back and do six balls and every time he does it as well ask him what did that feel like how did that feel what did you feel like you did okay when he's running and he's bowling and he's and he's just bowling at a target which is i'm, I'm assuming what you're going to be doing if you're on your own with him just remember that that front arm is obviously going up straight at the target and when it's finishing it's finishing in a straight line yeah so you almost want to get him to hit target one target two and then target three is get him to bring that elbow back into his ribs yes it's nice and straight and that'll help him just concentrate on bringing it in here you do have to be careful that he doesn't now start to just think about that front arm and he forgets to actually bowl the ball so again he's young do that a couple of times and then just let him bowl and understand that it's going to be a progression. He's not going to suddenly get this thing right overnight. He's nine years old, I think. I think that's what you said. Um, so again, repetition, be patient. When he gets it right, pump him with praise. Brilliant stuff. Awesome. Um, the other, other thing that you can do, like again, that's a little bit more technical and a bit more advanced. Other thing you can do is get him to stand in front of a, a mirror. I think we've got this in our bowling. It might be in the preseason again, Rob. Um, yeah. On the bowling fundamentals, um, if you can get him in front of a mirror or a big window, 
straight draw a straight line if there's not a if there's not a, a center in the window um, or a piece of tape down the window and get him just to stand and bowl and he and get him to watch himself so that he can actually see where that arm is going okay and it's just about repetition if you can video him as well get him to or video him and then get him to watch it because then it also clicks clicks a little bit more in his own brain. you can see hey well, you know when i got it right that's what i was doing when i got it wrong you know i was falling over just helps him it'll help it'll help him in his own mind to to reset what he's doing um but it is a repetition thing and you've got to do it slowly again you'll see he'll he'll get it right at a standstill and then when he bowls he might fall out just understand again that it is going to take time and the more he does it and the more he comes back to that straight line and that front arm doing the right things um obviously the better he's gonna he's gonna bowl and 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 the more consistent he's gonna be